Hello and welcome to science for today. We are going to be doing three things today. First, we're going to go over the questions that you did yesterday when you were in the Zoom to make sure that everyone has the correct thing written down. And then the second thing we're going to do is um, watch a video, which is related to just a little bit more about today's questions, which are going to be in the notebook. And then third, we're going to go over the um, study guide, which is for our open book, show what you know, next week. Okay, so first of all, this is what was submitted to me on Edmodo, or sorry, on Seesaw today. So these are the people who've handed them in. I'm missing two. So you guys get points. Whoa, not attendance. Um, okay, so everyone has it done except Sammy and Quinn. Okay, so you guys have science task done. Very well done. Please go in and read the comments that I have written to you. Most people had them either 100% or you did them in a backwards order. Okay, um, the next thing is can you go to your book from yesterday? This page, okay? These are the answers. So you should have, you can just give yourself a mark, green pen if you have it. So the first one was a full moon, okay? One full moon, oops, sorry. And then this should be two waning gibbous, okay? Next would be third quarter. Um, so this doesn't, this isn't necessarily like how it's actually forming. Um, this is just, they just wanted you to list them. And then this would be last quarter. And then this would be waning crescent because it's always getting smaller. Okay. Waning you should have at the bottom. And then over here we have a new moon. So the new moon, this would be a waxing crescent. So it's getting bigger and then first quarter and then waxing gibbous. Okay. Excellent. The next one was this one, I believe. Uh, so you had to just identify what they are. So we have a, they're not in order at all. Um, waning, okay, so obviously new moon and then obviously full moon. But then we have to remember the way that it gets bigger and the way that it gets smaller, okay? So if it's a waxing crescent, we know that it is growing on the right side. Okay, it's getting bigger on like the right side is there, then it's getting bigger, bigger on the right, and then it switches to on the left, okay? So that's why if it's waxing, it's going to be lit up on the right-hand side, and if it's waning, it's gonna be more lit up on the left-hand side, okay? So waning gibbous, because it's more lit up on the left-hand side. Um, last quarter, because it's more lit up on the left-hand side, waxing crescent, right-hand side, waning crescent, left-hand side, first quarter, uh, so I'd be waxing, I guess, on the right-hand side, and then full moon, and then waxing gibbous. Okay, now um, the next one I know was just drawing, so you can just kind of match those in, I guess, as you um, had them. Okay, so next what we're going to do is we're just going to re-watch this video because um, it's going to help us with what we have today. Screen here to show things from two different views. On the left hand side of the screen, I'll show a top down view. On the right hand side of the screen, I'll show what it looks like from Earth. When the moon is closest to the sun, the side of the moon facing the Earth is dark. The sunlight reflects off the Earth so we can still see the moon if we look closely. We refer to this as a new moon. As the moon comes around, we start to see a tiny sliver of the moon. This is called the waxing crescent. Okay, see, right hand side. A few more days pass by, and now we can see half the moon. We can call this a half moon, but more specifically, it's called a first quarter. Good. Because we are a quarter of the way through the phases. Yeah, growing on the right. A few more days, and only a small portion of the moon is not lit up. This is called the waxing gibbous. Okay, so right hand side. When the moon is again. on the other side of the Earth, it is completely lit. This is called a full moon, and it's probably the phase that you're most familiar with. Now the light begins to fade, we mirror the previous phases. Here's the waning gibbous, the third quarter, the waning crescent, and back to a new moon. Okay. Here's some tricks to remembering the phases. Waxing means the sunlit portion is increasing. 
Waning means the sunlit portion is decreasing. Crescent is where the moon is mostly dark. And gibbous is where the moon is mostly lit. Let's make sure we're accurate. The Earth is rotating once a day, tilted by 23 and a half degrees. I'm gonna bring back my good friend Bob here who lives in North America. Okay, these next models are going to be very important for us in doing um, today's work. Bob can't always see the moon. Sometimes he'll be on the opposite side of the Earth. Because of the moon's orbit, it will rise about 50 minutes later each day. Here's the neat thing. If you know what phase of the moon we're on, then you know about the right time of day or night to look for the moon. Okay, that is a little bit too complicated, but still super cool. If we're currently on a full moon, then at about the same time the sun is setting, we'll be able to see the moon rise. Yeah, maybe you've noticed that. So cool. If we're on a new moon, it will rise at about the same time the sun rises. But of course, now let's take a look at a first it. quarter moon. It will rise at about noon and set at about midnight. And a third quarter moon will rise at midnight and set at about noon. So there you have it. I hope that next time you look up okay. at the moon, you see it just a little different than you did before. If you okay, good. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, some of that stuff was a teeny tiny little bit too complicated. Um, yeah, you don't need to necessarily know all of that stuff. Okay, so now what we're doing is this is very similar to the page I think that's in your book that is the next thing because we had this drawing one. Okay, so I'm not going to go through this. Um, but hopefully you can just like even look at that video or the work you did before to make sure you have this right. The key thing is waxing crescent. It's getting like um, we see a little bit of the lightness on the right hand side. OK, if it's um, waning, then the lit side would be on the left. OK, now this is the next page that we are going to be doing today. OK, this is a really important page to understand. So um okay what the job is to do woo, is to okay so it says here um in the blank circle draw the moon phase we will see if we're on earth in the diagram and write the name of the moon phase on the blank line okay so two things if we're going to go through maybe this first one together. Okay. So I really, they're not in order. So if you think they're like, it's going to follow a pattern, it's going to mess up your mind. You have to look at each of them individually and you can even look in like whatever order you want. Okay. We'll do the first one together. So if you are Bob, like in the video, he is, you're standing on this side of the earth. Okay. You're on the side of the earth always that is facing at the moon. That's the key thing to think about in this. You're looking at the moon. What do you see? Okay, for this, we think you can go back even to the earlier examples that we did um, if you want to, like the page from yesterday. But we think about this. The moon is being lit up on this side, right? The sun is hitting here. So what do we see? Nothing, right? So we would have it all black. You'd color this whole thing in black because this shows us new moon we don't see any type of the moon okay uh just for this sake let's do the next one okay so again you are here and you're looking at the moon okay so if you need to draw a little arrow in here you could okay you're looking at the moon here what do you see okay we know that the moon rotates counterclockwise so we see if, it, if the moon was here right it would be, we would see no moon. Um, but then it's rotating. Here we would have a waxing crescent because it's getting bigger. And then here we would have first quarter. Okay, so you would draw in first quarter moon. So that means we would draw in, we would have light on the right, on the right hand side 
then we would have darkness over here. Remember, because waxing first quarter, it's getting bigger starting on the right side. Okay, so this should be white, this should be dark first quarter. Okay, you don't have to say waxing. We know if it's first quarter, it's obviously waxing. You don't have to say uh, third quarter because we know it's obviously waning. Okay, so that page is due for tomorrow, okay? Um, you can just keep this page with you. You do not need to send me a picture because I will go over the answers um, with you tomorrow. Uh, okay, then the next page that you are doing is this one, okay? It says matching moon phases. So, okay, here is the, uh, okay, so this is just the example. The opposite of dark is, oh yeah, light, put a B in here, okay? So here is your bank of words to choose from, and then you fill it in over here. There is exactly 10, okay, it's not like a trick at all. So waning gibbous, okay, what do you think? Which one makes sense? This page relates to all of the earlier work that we have done. Um, yeah, and this page is like not the easiest. You really have to think carefully about it, okay? Try your hardest, go back and use the models. This one might be very, 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 very good to refer to, okay? To help you answer all of these questions. Try your hardest, um, yeah, okay. Then the next page in the book, I actually don't have the book with me. Um, but the next page in the book is um, what it says questions. So what direction does the moon travel around the earth? Okay, those questions. Um, I would like you to do both of those, or no, wait, it's just one more question. So what direction does the moon travel around the earth? Okay, that's the first question. How long does it take the moon to travel? Okay, that they're not really, it's kind of just a summary at the end. They're, those questions aren't too, too, too challenging, okay? Um, you do not need to submit anything to me tomorrow. Just have this done because we're going to go over it tomorrow. Um, okay, last thing is we have a, okay, we're going to be doing, it's not a test because a test would mean that you are in class. Um, so it's called a, a show what you know, and it's a unit summary, but it's mainly just since like the last quiz, okay? So if you go to your book, everything after the study guide is going to be um, on this quiz, which again, I have listed here for you, okay? So you have to describe the location and movement of individual stars. So basically it starts with the constellation stuff where you made your star viewer, okay? Um, yep, and then so you go through the pages, all the work that you did for that, that's gonna be like the best review. And then recognize that the apparent movement of objects in the night sky is predictable and explain how the movement is related to Earth. So that relates to, um, yeah, like the sunrise. So sunrise and then how does that kind of change our shadow throughout the day? This relates to our um, lab. Understand that the sun should never be viewed directly, um, nor by use of simple telescopes or filters. You have to have the safety precautions. So that's our pinhole viewing camera and all the stuff that we did surrounding that. Um, construction and use of a device for plotting the apparent movement of the sun over the course of a day. So again, kind of understanding the lab that we did on the uh, human sundial. And then the next one is describe seasonal changes in the length of the day and night and the angle of the sun above the horizon. So that was the work that we did before the human sundial lab um, related to like um, the height, like solar noon, like the height of the sun in the sky, depending upon the season. And then this last one, these last two are exactly what we're doing this week and looping back to earlier from the year. But now we're getting a deeper understanding of exactly what causes those different phases of the moon. Okay, so it is going to be all multiple choice and it's going to be on Edmodo um, one week today on Monday. And it's going to be during our science class, either at uh, one o'clock or two o'clock. It's gonna be at one o'clock because we have our Zoom at two o'clock, which is for our um, book sharing, our uh, presentations, okay? So yeah, there you go. 
Um, yeah, so no homework today, just only working on the questions that I have um, that are in the last three pages from the booklet. Okay, good work and see you tomorrow.